Welcome to the first episode of Motivated Mondays on Brace Yourself, the raw and unfiltered podcast. I'm your host, Ariel Marie, and I'm here to sprinkle some positivity and love into your week. Happy Monday, buenos dias, grand rising. However you greet the day, hello on this beautiful Monday, November 4th, 2024. You know, I've always sent out weekly motivational texts to my family and friends, reminding them just how loved they are. So I thought, why not share this light with you? Let's start by changing the narrative around Mondays. They're not to be dreaded. They are a blank canvas, a fresh start. Imagine waking up and thinking, wow, I made it to another Monday. That's something to celebrate. Because you literally have people who do not wake up the next day. You literally. So you have to be grateful. Like, get that Garfield mindset out your head. Oh, I hate Mondays. They're terrible. Everything bad happens on Mondays. Oh, we've lived in this society all this, all this time. Mondays are constantly going to come. They're constantly going to happen. You cannot avoid Monday. So let's change the mindset around Mondays. So when Monday comes around, you're not dreading it. You're excited. Hey, it's Monday. Hey, okay, so this is the day that, you know, I get to do this and then I get to do that. It's a fresh start. It's a new week. Look to it as a new week, a fresh start. Don't look to it as, oh, it's Monday. Now I have all of these days till Friday. Don't. Don't do that. Please. (laughs) We're stepping into the first Monday of a new month under the Scorpio new moon. This is the perfect time for transformation and growth. Let that energy propel you forward. Now, I'm not going to get it deep into my spiritual stuff because this is just motivational Mondays. But I just want you to let all of you know who don't know yet, we're all connected to this earth, resonating with this frequency and energy, whether we realize it or not. And the moon affects you. It really does. So please, with this new moon that we have for this new month, take the time, grow, embrace it, go have a moon bath outside, you know, (laughs) but I'm getting deep into it. So let's go to the next thing. And y'all, we literally have two months left in 2024, two, not six, not four, not three, two, two. (laughs) what a year it's been. We've been dealing with inflation. We're dealing with this electoral race, natural disasters, hurricanes happening everywhere. 2024 really threw it all, all it had at us, everything. And it left nothing. (laughs) It left nothing behind. It threw everything at us. I've never spent so much money on groceries ever like I did this year. It's crazy. But look at you. Look at me. Look at all of us. We're still standing tall, heads high. You'd made it. You did it. And that's powerful. Remember, good things come to those who wait. So just keep your faith alive. Like, don't things have been going bad for me or it's been a bad year, so nothing is going to go right for me. No, you have to constantly look at the positive at the end of the day. Constantly. I don't care how hard it gets, keep staying positive. Because once you let that negative win, it's hard to get back into that happy space. Ooh, ooh, excuse me. Mm -mm. (laughs) I recently dove into The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Reuse, if I'm pronouncing that right, and I'm probably not, but it's okay. (laughs) And the one lesson that hit me the most was don't take anything personally. That's something that I struggled with my whole life until now. I've always been a people pleaser. I've always put people's needs before mine. And that also dove into taking things personally. And it turned me into someone and had me react into things that I shouldn't react to. So not taking things personally, It helps you and it frees up to know that other people's actions are their issues and not yours. If someone throws shade, you know, or cut you off in traffic, that's on them, not you. Choose peace over anger every time. Because when you choose anger, you're giving the energy that literally was sent 
for you. Don't don't choose anger. Don't choose to stoop to their level. Kill them with kindness. Have you have y'all heard? I know y'all have heard that. Kill them with kindness. That's the best thing you can do. Smile in your enemy's face. Smile at everything. If anybody upsets you and pisses you off, just smile and just say thank you and walk away. You know, sometimes that's all you can do. Because when you give up that energy and stoop to their level, it it turns you into someone you don't want to be and someone you don't need to be. With the holidays approaching, let's remember that true happiness isn't in expensive gifts, but in genuine connections. Let, let me repeat that. Happiness isn't in expensive gifts, but in genuine connections. Don't break the bank for these consumer holidays. Christmas been around before you was born, and Christmas going to be around even after you die. Look, it's, it's been here. This has been their objective. Spend money, spend money, spend money, spend money. You need to buy this. You need to. That's not even the reason for it. <laughs> but listen, we've got sucked into this consumer holiday. And I'm just say navigate correctly through it. Because I've noticed that a lot of us go broke for the ones we love and we care about when it comes to Christmas. We put other needs and others wants before our priorities and before ourselves and i'm just here to say mm cuz that bill not going nowhere you it's still going to have to be paid so don't put yourself back because you're trying to make someone else happy as a mature adult they should be able to understand everyone should be able to understand excluding children that we are dealing with hard times at this moment People are living check to check, you know, so the way stuff used to be is not how it's going to be this year. So don't expect it, you know, and if they love you and if the relationship is genuine and if they have that mature mindset, they should understand those other ones who catch an attitude. Oh, you ain't buy me that. You ain't buy me that. Fuck them. Fuck them. Leave them where they at because they have that immature mindset and they think that you have to buy them something and go broke and be behind on bills and stuff just to show them that you love them on Christmas. You don't have to do that. And if they make you feel like that, you need to leave them in 2024 and do not take them into 2025. Now, children are a little bit different because they have kid mindsets and you are never supposed to put adult expectations on children. So don't expect children to understand why. You didn't get as many Christmas gifts this year as you used to. Instead, sit and talk with them. Start talking to them. I mean, we this we have a different generation of kids these days. So a lot of them, you know, can see what's going on in this world and everything else. So some kids, you know, they know, oh, I know times are getting hard. You know, stuff is expensive and everything. So just talk to them and let them know, hey, you know. I can't get as much stuff as I used to, or I am going to get you stuff, but it's not going to be as much to what you're used to, but it's going to be something that you like and that you enjoy. And I do just want to show you that I love and I appreciate you. But as simple as that, you don't have to go broke. Don't, don't do that because all of these years that you're buying all of these Christmas presents for these kids and they don't really last a few months. Kids forget about them. They break, they grow up grow out of them, whatever happens, whatever's the case. Let's let's change that, you know. <laughs> Do something else. Go go on a trip or you don't have to wait for Christmas to gift someone something. You can gift them stuff throughout the whole year. It doesn't you don't have to wait to the end of the year to show everybody in your life that you love and appreciate them. Cuz that's crazy. That's a crazy mindset. I have to buy all of these gifts for everyone in my life to show them that I love them. Granted, people already have birthdays, so that's the time to show that too. But you have all year to do that. And if you can't do it for Christmas because you have other things going on, again, if they really love and appreciate you, they'll wait. They'll wait. It'll be okay. They'll wait. If they're for you and they're meant to be in your life, they'll wait. And it shouldn't be any issues regarding that. Your loved ones cherish your presence far more than your presence. Let me say that again. Your loved ones should cherish your presence far more than your presence. 
I have learned a long time ago. Hey, don't be spending all this money on these gifts. These gifts don't matter. I didn't I didn't went broke one time spending so much money on gifts. When people just want to be around you, they just want to spend time with you. Time is valuable because that's something you cannot get back. Time is valuable. Go spend that time with those people. Even if it's going out to lunch or going to a museum, going to the park, you know, going camping, taking a little weekend trip. It it doesn't have to be expensive. You don't have to spend money to show people you love them. You don't have to. Time is what matters the most. Also, I also want you to set realistic goals for the rest of the year. And when I say realistic goals, I mean, don't set no crazy goals knowing that you're busy for these next two months and you swamped and your schedule is crazy. So you won't even be able to try to achieve it. No, set some realistic and achievable goals. So by the end of this year, you have something to be happy about and you can pat yourself on the back. So you can go into 2025 motivated and knowing you set these goals and you complete them and you can keep doing it again. You have to start somewhere. Don't wait until New Year's to have a New Year's resolution. Start it now. You want to go to the gym? Start it now. Want a new hobby? Start it now. You want to start saving money? Start it now. You trying to get a car? Start saving now. Don't start next year. Start now. What's stopping you from starting now? Do it now. (laughs) Also, don't forget to pour into your own cup first. This reiterates again, because I told you I used to be a people pleaser. I personally, I know how it is to not pour into yourself. I know. So please listen to me when I say pour into yourself first, because you can't pour into others if you have nothing to pour. You cannot pour into others if you have nothing to pour. Mothers, fathers, anyone. You cannot pour into anyone if you have nothing to pour. You have to make that time for yourself. You have to pour into yourself, whether that's if taking time for yourself, taking a day to yourself, doing self-care days. And self-care days don't just involve women. Men can have self-care days as well. Men, take a bath, get in a tub, relax, light some candles. Yes. Yes, you can still be a masculine male and channel your feminine energy. And we'll have another episode about that eventually. But this is motivational. So we'll just stick with our motivational stuff. Love yourself, king. Love yourself, queens. Do a a mask on your face. Soak in a tub. Put some cucumbers under your eye, on top of your eyes. You know, relax. Show yourself you love yourself. Pour into yourself. You have to, especially with these next two months, because we're entering this so-called seasonal depression period. Again, something else that corporate America has made up and we've ran with it. Oh, it's cold outside. This is the time where I'm depressed the most because the sun isn't shining and I need the sun. Yes, the sun does give us energy and it does make us happy and it does give us those hormones and feelings that we need in order to be happy. But I'm here to tell you, you can get those from other things. You don't have to, you don't just need the sun to make you happy. It starts with you. It starts with you and your environment. Make your environment more better, especially knowing it's getting colder outside. Me, I hate, no, I'm not going to say I hate the cold. I don't like being cold. I hate being hot. I would rather be cold than be hot because Jesus, but (laughs) excuse me. Oh, excuse me. I don't know what that is. I'm a little piggy today. I apologize about that, guys. But to reiterate back on what I was saying, I lost my train of thought, actually. So, oh, you can find different ways, like changing your environment, make it more bright in the house. Lights help. Get a Himalayan salt lamp. Put that in your room. That will help. More inviting colors instead of like black curtains or whatever else. Do some bright colors in, in, inside, you know, anywhere. Make a, a happy playlist. Songs that make you happy and smile. Songs that bring out your inner child. Make that playlist. So at any time that you do get in those sad moves, you just put that music on and you, boom, back on time. Back in happy mode. You know, spend more time with family and friends. Do a new hobby. 
Find something that makes you whole and happy. Do not let this so-called seasonal depression take over and you ruin these months that could have been filled with happiness and more opportunities for you. Shine your light even when it's, it gets dark and cold, both literally and metaphorically. <laughs> Let's also practice gratitude every morning. Before reaching for your phone, take a moment when you open those eyes to recognize one thing that you're grateful for. Say, I I am grateful for this. Thank you so much for waking me up this morning because I know I couldn't have woke up this morning. You know, it's someone out here that did not wake up this morning. Thank you. I am grateful that I have two eyes that can see. Thank you. I'm grateful that I have a mouth that can talk. I'm thankful that I can smell. I'm thankful that I can breathe on my own. I'm thankful that I'm grateful that I'm able to do all of these. Because what you have to realize and what society has messed up our mindset with, we forget that these everyday things that we do in life, it's people out here that that don't even have that. And again, reiterating back on my India trip, I've seen, you know, people who are just asking and wishing for the smallest things. People are just asking for clean water, for a loaf of bread. And it's people in America out here crying about some $200 pair of shoes or about something immature and petty. You got to be grateful because if that was taken away from you, you would feel like shit. You would be fucked up. You wouldn't be able to handle that. So be grateful that you woke up with two eyes to see. Be grateful that you have a mouth to speak. Be grateful that you have a nose to smell and to breathe, that you don't need oxygen. Be grateful that you can hear out your ears and that you don't need hearing aids. Because just like we had to start and develop all of these, eventually when we get older, that's going to start getting taken back away from us. And I've dealt with and I've been around babies. I've been around elderly. And they're just appalled and, you know, thankful and grateful, you know, because they they have stuff that they can't indulge in anymore, especially like elderly. It's like they you know, they can't hear like they used to. So please be grateful for your hearing while you're young. Be grateful for your eyes because those change as well. Like you have to be grateful for everything because if it was stripped away from you, you would not know how to act in this world. Be grateful that you have a car that takes you from point A to B. When you start being grateful and adding gratitude into your life, it gets better for you. You start appreciating life more. You enjoy the people around you who make you happy more. And you stop comparing. You stop comparing. That's the main thing, to stop comparing. Because comparing is, is is the killer of everything. Oh, you go on social media, you see this person that got a new car. Oh, I wish I had a new car. Be grateful. You have a car that gets you to point A and point B. There are people out here who don't even have a car. Be grateful for the little things. Be grateful, please. Because with gratitude comes reward. And you have to be humble in this world. You have to be humble and you have to be grateful. Gratitude sets the tone for a powerful day, a powerful life. It just... Gratitude takes you on so many levels you don't even know that you're capable of. Go out to the trees. Say, thank you, trees, for giving me oxygen. Okay, thank you. I'm grateful. Thank you. Thank you, son, for coming up this morning. Thank you, rain, for dropping down on the ground to hydrate the soil and to feed these organisms and these animals and things that can't get water otherwise. It's it's so much that you can be grateful for. I'm just throwing out ideas. I also want you to take this time to give back this month, whether it's volunteering, sharing a meal, or simply showing kindness. Let's spread that love and make an impact. Volunteer at a soup kitchen. Go to a foster home and donate some clothes or shoes. Adopt a child for Christmas. If your means let you, again, if you if your means let you. But do something positive in this world. We are in the month of giving. We're in the month of thanks. Put some good back out into this world. Thank you for joining me on this Motivated Monday. I really hope I motivated you and that you have a great rest of your week. 
Remember, Election Day is tomorrow. So if you haven't voted yet, make your voice count. Let's head into this week with our heads high and our hearts <laughs> and our hearts open wide. I just want to end this with a beautiful quote from Gandhi. Be the change that you wish to see in the world. And with that, I'll talk to you guys on Friday.